Hello everyone, welcome back to another Star Staple video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to upgrade your outfits in 2022. Maybe your goal for 2022 is to make cool outfits. I'm going to pop up on the screen right now some of my favorite outfits that I have saved from some outfit accounts on Instagram. So these are outfits that I like and obviously everyone has their own style. So my style might not be what you like, but in a lot of like in all of my videos, I've made all of those outfits myself. So, you know, whether you like them, whether you don't like them, I just want to talk about kind of how I make my outfits and uh, teaching you guys how to start making better outfits. Maybe you don't like your outfit style. If you go back like way, 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 way years ago, you might look at my outfits and they're really not that good. So it's a mixture of having grown as a person. You know, I'm older now. I'm not like 10 years old anymore. <laughs> also having more clothing in my closet. I'm very grateful to know that I have a lot of clothes in my style stable closet. So I do have a lot of choice to pick from, but honestly, I haven't worn a lot of the items in my closet. And if you have the the right items then you can make good outfits whether you have a ton of items or not and yeah so I kind of wrote this down when I just woken up one morning so hopefully all of these notes make sense and stuff but yeah a lot of people like my outfits they've said that they like my outfits so I thought I'd make a video on how I make my outfits so the first thing I want to say is use new items that you've never used before because if you want to upgrade your style maybe you just need to start by wearing an item that you've never worn before so maybe it was a free one maybe it wasn't so for me for example let me look through here what's an item I don't think I've used this item in an outfit before so let me go ahead and say okay I want to update my outfit style so this is simply using an item that I've does that make sense using an item that you've never used before to like create a new style for yourself like does that make sense oh gosh okay my main struggle right now is uh this yellow is a very specific yellow oh this one works There we go. This is an outfit that I'm decently happy with. It's probably not the best, but as you guys kind of saw, I just kind of threw together uh, very, very, very quickly. It only took me literally like a minute and a half maybe to chuck this together. Some of the colors don't match. I could have used a plain black saddlebag, which I think would have worked better, but this one almost matches and I never use it, so I wanted to use it. But I'm in an outfit from an item that I've never used before. This is probably like an outfit that, you know, I've never worn before, so therefore I'm kind of upgrading my style, trying it out. Sometimes I have to make an outfit go training with it and it starts to grow on me especially with new styles and stuff because I was I I never actually I've always kind of worn a lot of bright colors but I'm not one for like not boring out like plainer outfits like I often do have quite a couple of colors on me um outfits that I feel like I don't see many other people wearing I'm just quirky like that apparently but yeah I think my outfit style for example star staple uh, updates. She has amazing outfits. I love her outfits, but I just actually never wear outfits like that. They're very plain to me, which is totally fine. It's totally fine. They still look good. So the next thing I want to say to upgrade your outfits, and I realize this lately, is like use older models of items. Now, some old saddles are just absolute trash. I'm going to go ahead and say it, but if you use the right saddle in the right way, they can look really good. So I really like the more of the funkier kind of saddle, you know, I'm, I love this saddle. It's got details it's got lots of colors on it let me see if i can find another example as well ones like this as well i love this one and this one as well and they are an older model saddle from a distance like some of them look good some of them like this one's really nice actually that one's really nice some of them look really bad <laughs> let me see if i can find an example i don't know i'm not really a big fan of these ones uh but i'd still probably like find a way to put them in an outfit look this color is just not it it's not even to do with the style being old model this one i think this one's really pretty as well this one as well oh my gosh wait what the heck this one's kind of really funky i like buying funky saddles this one's really pretty i think i'm gonna buy this one and use this one as an example so this is an old model saddle but honestly we don't have a ton of new model saddles i feel in the game they're kind of boring i kind of want more saddles like this in the new versions as well but this one looks fine this one looks totally fine let's see if i can make a one minute outfit with this one as well i think there's matching bows for this saddle 
but they might not be in global store. One extra tip that I have is global store is a super great way to like put together outfits without looking through your inventory. I don't know, sometimes I just have to sit in global store to make my outfits, but struggling. I swear there's matching, there's matching ones, but I just can't find them. Feel Another quick tip for upgrading your outfits is some items just blatantly have sets. You know, if you go to horse gear, then there's bridles which have matching saddle pads, matching saddles and everything. Star Stable comes out with sets. And if you want to create unique outfits, then I'd say branch out from the sets. If you only like one item from the set, buy it and create outfits with items you already own. I'm currently looking for a shirt, which I thought matched this outfit. I can't find it. It might not be in global store. It might be exclusive to like the mall or something um i can't really describe it i have to look at it but yeah just i rarely kind of wear the actual sets that star stable gives us besides when i first buy it to show it to you guys so i just say branch out and it creates unique outfits that you might not have worn before and here we have another outfit um i would say it's probably a bit more on the plain side for me but i bought this new saddle and honestly i think it looks really good I am actually using a lot of older clothing like this is an older style top hat and an older style shirt but I still think it looks good in my own opinion in my own style and yeah you know you don't have to only wear the newest of the new stuff one other thing did I write this down I did write it down but I guess I wrote it down later on the list but I guess we'll talk about it now you need to learn whether you care about racing stats or looking pretty or maybe you have a specific racing outfit for me I just make a racing outfit when I need to win a championship otherwise I don't really care about speed that much uh, if you don't know what I mean then oops then out like this hat for example has riding plus four command plus five and carrying plus three so I probably don't have the highest riding or the highest uh, swiftness right now but whenever I'm training I don't really notice speed because I'm usually watching a YouTube video so my entire attention isn't on the game so it depends if you want to be the speediest of the speed at all times because otherwise having full racing outfits does actually limit yourself on what you can buy and it actually ends up being more expensive because a lot of the top racing outfits like items are the most expensive items in the game but moving on I want to uh, you know just try out mixing more colors so you might see that I as I said before I wear a lot of colors and I mix a lot of colors together compared to some people who always use a black saddle bear a black saddle white saddle pad and just like change up the shirt color or something which is totally your own personal thing like I love seeing people do outfits like that they still look really good but for me I like colors now you might be like I don't even know where to begin like what if I what if I put on a pair of orange pants with this can I make it work I can make it work this actually looks really good <laughs> um, I'd probably use a saddle in my opinion I'd use a saddle blanket which maybe an orange one or maybe one with orange and blue which you can find but it's very difficult because I just have so many items maybe something like this so my tip for you know starting out your journey of using a bunch of different colors and outfits and something that definitely I did was say these bows right here they changed my life let me just find them for a second please tell me they're in my home staple please tell me that there they are these ones here they have red blue and white so therefore I would bring the red blue and white through everything let's grab a red saddle blanket where's my riding pro one it might be on another horse we might do a blue one then get a bit of a red saddle is there a red saddle i own a red saddle or maybe something like this the plaid that might work and then we have this sweater here which is the blue as well and you know you find a balance like you might be looking at this and feel like you have too much red going on so you might switch it to some blue leg wraps personally i, I kind of like the red balance here with the white as well but bam outfit and multiple different colors and I think I made just about like three or four outfits just then in like the space of 10 minutes um that one look took like one or two minutes to make but I've been making outfits and very quickly for a while now because uh, when I'm filming multiple videos sometimes I like to switch on my outfit so I just need to be quick off the bat so maybe you just need to experiment with different colors and a great way to learn what colors go together is choosing bows which have a lot of colors like we have the pride bows which are pretty good um I'm always kind of hesitant to use them because I don't want people to think that like that, okay I don't want 
people to think that I am the bow that I'm showing, not because it's a bad thing, but because people might then be like, oh, why are you wearing that bow when you're not, I think this is the pan bow, when you're not pan or anything and uh when i just want to use the colors for it so i don't know if that's a bad thing let me know in the comments below because I, I actually haven't used any of the bows because i don't want to get in trouble for like wearing a bow which i'm not like am i only allowed to wear this bow if i am is that the lesbian one so you know <laughs> um but they're a great way to pick a bow and do a bunch of colors with it or even saddles and saddle blankets as well like this one pretty good you could work some colors up for this one get some red maybe a little bit of green tint in that you know you know and also saddles as well like i oh gosh where did my saddles i like funky colored saddles so i have quite a few you know make an outfit base it around one item just choose one item and go from it Another great way to learn is actually to copy other people at first. So say when I first started, like, I don't know, when you learn how to draw, you might follow tutorials, copy other people's drawing just to get the hang of like how the hand moves, shapes and things like that. When you first start video editing, you might edit like other content creators that you like to watch and then you start to develop your own editing style and things like that. Same as outfit accounts on instagram you might see an outfit that you like so you copy it and you wear it now take that knowledge and start to play around with items i there's one outfit account on instagram i'm trying to think of who they are but they pull out all of the good old stuff they use old model stuff all the time and i absolutely love it love looking at those outfits but yeah just get inspiration and work off of it it's uh, don't go ahead and make an outfit account and start copying other people's outfits and claiming it as your own or just changing one item and claiming it as your own. Like take inspiration, but make sure you're still like changing it up enough and things like that. Still learning what colors go together and things like that. Now, the next thing talking about old items, and I've said a couple of times in this video, maybe this item isn't in the global store. A great way to upgrade your outfits in 2022 is to ride around to stores in Jorvik to find new clothing, which isn't sold in the global store, which you might not even know have existed. Therefore, you know, upgrading your outfit, upgrading your closet, showing other people in the world that like, I mean, a lot of players might ride past you and be like, oh my gosh, where did they get that shirt from? And you're like, it's special. You can only buy it in store, you know? Honestly, some of them are really cheap as well. Sometimes you find a lot of old model, like old items, which still look really good and they're cheap as well, which is really, really great. I, I can't really, it's so hard to think of the shops around Jorvik. So honestly, just take a day out and take yourself on a bit of shopping spree and just go to every single town and look for all the shops and stuff. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about when creating an outfit is to make sure to pick the right horse for the color outfit that you're making. I'm trying to think, okay, honestly, this horse kind of looks good with every color, but if I chose, oh gosh, it's so hard to think of an example. I guess if I chose this horse in its pumpkin form, the same outfit might not look as good on it. But you guys know what I mean. Like some of these items just wouldn't look as good on this horse as it would on other horses. So play around with what horse you're making an outfit on, which is why also, unless you like really hate like bay horses or something, I think it's really good that every single time you buy a new horse, like you maybe not buy the same black horse multiple times so that you do have multiple horses to create an outfit with. Oh, you know what a good example is? Recently in my birthday shopping spree video, I bought this horse over here. I bought acacia and I made this outfit on acacia. Unfortunately, I didn't keep any of the clothes in my inventory, I don't think, so I can't like fix my outfit. But this horse, I feel like you buy it and you have to find a very specific color for it. Actually, pink looks good on this horse, but you have to make a very specific outfit for this type of horse because some colors just won't work as well and might not look as good. So just play around with the with the horse that you're riding on as well and choose colors which work on that horse. I don't know if you can Google what, what colors look good on a bay horse. Let me try doing that really quickly. You can look good on chestnut horses. Apparently anything suits chestnuts. I can say green, black and turquoise and royal blue are very popular and look beautiful. Purple looks gorgeous on my chestnut mare. So even just Googling what colors might look good on your horse and going from there as well. And that's basically the end of this video. I did write on my little thing how many outfits can I make in five minutes? 
but I'm not sure that I'm going to do that. Let me know if you want to see me do a challenge where I try and make as many outfits as possible. A great way to make outfits is honestly going the plain and simple way. You know what? Let's let's have a go. Let's have a go. Let me go get on a horse which isn't tacked up. Ollie! Hey, Ollie. You're the perfect candidate. A great way to make outfits is just by choosing a black saddle or even a white saddle. Personally, I prefer black saddles. I feel like white still looks kind of weird in the game. It's like too clean to be a saddle. And you put on a black or even like a brown one as well, but a black bridle. Let's get white. Actually, white leg wraps does not work with this horse. Black leg wraps and a white saddle blanket. And I'm wearing black, white and everything. And what you do is you just change up what kind of shirt color you're wearing. You know, you just change it up. That looks good. That looks good. If you want to take it one step further, you could start changing up just the saddle blanket. So I'm wearing a yellow shirt. Let's just chuck on plain yellow saddle blanket you could also go to the leg wraps as well very quickly just change up items like that get on a red shirt oh red saddle red leg wraps red saddle blanket maybe not that one but you know you get the gist you get the gist simple plain outfits very quick lots of outfits in just a couple of minutes so hopefully it's, this video kind of helped you as i talk through how i make my outfits um it wasn't really a talk through video i suppose like i didn't talk through every single step of how i make my outfits but kind of how to change up your outfit style in 2022 you know um you new year new me kind of thing Honestly, it just comes from doing it. Just keep making outfits. If you just don't enjoy making outfits, then just copy other people, you know, outfit Instagram accounts and things like that. Because there's no shame in just not enjoying something, therefore you don't do it. You know, you don't have to like making outfits or anything. So just do what you like to do in the game. Personally, I like making outfits. So yeah, just keep making outfits. You get better by doing, at least that's what I do. I get better by doing. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll try and answer them. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We've had an awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Bye.